Hi and welcome back. I'm Mr. G. This is our second lesson in the series of learning a basic rock beat. Again, I want to emphasize this is not, um, this isn't any by any means a really technical course or, or we'll delve real deeply into the theory of drumming. Um, again, this is just to learn a basic, simple rock and roll beat for, for beginning drummers. So, I'll tell you what, um, last time, yeah, I made a couple mistakes in the last video. I, I know a lot of people noticed that, and uh, it was my first in the series. Uh, usually the first one's the roughest of the, of the series. Hopefully, hopefully they'll get better as things go along and progress. But I do want to, I do want to talk a little bit about um, the mistakes that were made in the first one. In the first video, um, I mistakenly was saying that whole notes in a measure were actually what would be considered quarter notes. And that half notes should have actually been eighth notes. And when I said eighth notes, or when I said quarter notes, I actually should have been saying sixteenth notes. Now, let me elaborate a little bit. Let me show you something here first. I built this table, um, very, very easy. This is an outdoor wooden table for about $10. These are just um, basically a, a food container at the bottom and top of a little storage container uh, that I think baloney came in or something. So. I'm serious when I say you don't need a drum set to learn to play the drums. Um, you need a floor to stomp on with your feet, and you need some some things to hit, basically. And yeah, they're moving around on me a little bit, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, again, before we get started, let me let me elaborate a little bit on what I said before. I explained that what I was teaching was a four-four beat, four on the top slash four on the bottom, four-four. A 4-4 four, four time signature in a song basically represents um, a measure in that song, and the measure is counted one, two, three, four. Each of those counts being a quarter note. Why are they a quarter note? Well, because the number on the bottom of four tells us that they should be quarter notes. If the number on the bottom were an eight, they should be eighth notes. If the number on the bottom were a, um, were a two, they should be half notes. Understand? Now let's recap what a note is in a measure. In a full measure, in a 4-4 four, four measure, a count would be four quarter notes. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I just counted two measures. I'd like you to count out loud when you do these lessons as well. It will help you. Um, so I had one, two, three, four quarter notes. Two, two, three, four quarter notes. Third measure. Three, four quarter notes. Fourth measure, two, three, four quarter notes. So one, two, three, four in a four, four measure represents four quarter notes being played at equal spacing. And they fulfill the requirements of the measure. They fulfill the four quarter notes required to make a full measure in the song. Now, how many measures are in a song? Eh, it depends on the length of the song. It could be any number of measures in a song. A song can be three measures. A song can be 5,000 measures long. Just depends on how long that song is. Another thing is tempo, how fast the measures are played. That's actually one, two, three, four, but it's the same as if I were counting this way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 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 same thing as one, two, three, four. Just being played about twice as fast. Okay, let's get started with our actual lesson today. We'll recap last week. I had you tapping your foot on the quarter notes, one, two, three, four, while I had you playing eighth notes with your right hand. One, two, three, four, your foot, two, two, three, four, counting them up, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Now, this again was doing the eighth notes, this was doing the quarter notes on the downbeat, and you were to count the measures, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, counting up as you go along. Or you can simply count one, well, sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can do that as well. Today we're gonna change things up a little bit. I still want you to use your right foot to tap out the quarter notes and to count the one, two, three, four of the measure. However, this time, let's pretend this were a snare drum in front of us. Now, Again, I use a traditional grip. My stick is nearly balanced, just a little front heavy. When it sits in the cradle here, I wrap my fingers around it like this. You can use a matched grip like this. Either grip, though, should be played not with your arms like a robot, 
but with your wrists. Now you're going to see my arms moving a little more in these videos than just my wrists so, as, as well as my wrists. And that's because I want to over accentuate the beat so that you can actually get a more visual effect of what's playing what. Otherwise I would just be doing and you can't see very well. It's easier for you to see. Isn't it? Now let's move on. I want these hands to play the eighth notes but to alternate using your right or lead hand and your right foot for the downbeat of one. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Now I said something, I said your lead hand and lead foot. For right handers that would be your right foot and right hand. For left handers, reverse everything that I'm telling you, including the way you grip the sticks. It's gonna to be tough for me to do this. But for this would be a lead hand. One, two, three, and four. So yeah, that would be left-handed drumming. I'm not good at that. Also, where the snare would be and hi-hat would be, everything would be mirror image of each other if you're a left-handed drummer. Not to confuse everybody, so just stick with me, right-handers. Just do what I do. I'm right-handed as well. Now, let's move on to one more thing I want to try today. You need to practice this until you have it down. And I realize I'm going a little bit faster in this lesson, but that's okay. Tap your foot a little slower though. One, two, three, four, while you do this. One and two and three and four and two and three and four. My hands are playing eighth notes in the measure. My foot is playing quarter notes in the measure. Now we're gonna cross over. This is called crossing over in drumming in a trap set of drums. This is representing a hi-hat. This is being the snare. And I am going to play with just the hi-hat hand the one and two and three and four and the eighth notes and on my foot the quarter notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Now let's add our left hand on the two and the four. If we add it on the two and the four this gives us a basic rock beat on the snare though. So we're going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. That really is a very simple and basic rock beat. Learn, practice these and learn them perfectly. Learn them so that you can do other things while you're doing them. Learn them so that you can be going like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Talk to your friends while they're playing a video game while you do it. You need to be able to do this basically while you're half asleep, while you're sitting there eating dinner with your left hand, be practicing this with your right hand and right foot. If both hands are free and you're sitting around watching TV, practice on your leg. One and two and three and four and one and two until you know that like the back of your hand. We'll mix things up a little bit more next time in our third lesson. And just to show you how this sounds on a regular and a real set of drums, I'm gonna take this outside and let you hear this. See you next time, I'm Mr. G. I'll see you next time on drum lesson number three. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's the beat that we learned today, poured it over to my drum set. showing you different spin-offs of what you've already learned today. So practice what you've learned today, including the, don't forget this one, don't forget to practice that too. You'll need that to do this. I'm Mr. G, thanks for watching.